Welcome back to DXV Today, where tonight we're talking all about fashion. And who better to talk to than Mr. Martin Victor Al Masri, fashion entrepreneur right here in the UAE. Martin, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. What is a fashion entrepreneur, if you had to give it a definition? Uh, it's a one-man show. Okay. You have to be the designer, the director, the financier, the operation, the one that carries fabrics from the warehouse to the office. You just have to get going and don't put titles. Titles come later, just get busy. So tell us about some of the big projects you've done so far, or projects you're most proud of. Um, the first fashion show for the brand, it's an Emirati brand, the House of Victor is 100% Emirati. The first show we've done in 2021. Uh, we did also, the first time we did women, it was a male brand for two years, then turned to women last November. Um, Dubai Fashion Week in March, I did an all male collection and I had just three pieces for women. I have to put women in everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it adds a, a touch, you know? Yeah, but it's very interesting to move across from male to female fashion. That's not easy. How did you go about that? It wasn't easy, but there was a demand. And then my friends, they tell me, okay, I'll buy this suit. If I wear this suit, will you make women? You know, it was per request. <laughs> so they were blackmailing you? <laughs> Is in every saying. possible way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. I love it. So what are you most proud of? Your male pieces now or your female pieces? The female pieces, honestly. <gasps> Amazing. I thought you were going to say I love all my children. Yeah. Uh, just being no, honest. You know, the, the men are tough. They're going on their own. They don't need my testimonial. The female pieces were still making it stronger and stronger. I just came back from India. I had a big show in New Delhi, my first show in Asia. Wow. I thought no one will come because nobody knows me there. And then people were fighting to get into the door. I was oh, the only wow. international designer, the only one from Dubai, and I felt so proud. Oh, as you should. You know, it's still lasting, actually. Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah, you're still on a high. high. Good. good. I have a question for you. So, fabric, you said like carrying fabric from the warehouse. How do you go about choosing your fabrics? Like, what is your inspiration uh, for depends it? Depends on the story. Every collection has a story. Like, for example, I have a big show on December 4th, which I'm inviting all of you now. Oh, we'll be Thank, there. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Let me just check my diary. <laughs> okay. I'm free. <laughs> Good. Welcome. <laughs> so, uh, first I put the story, sketch, and once I have that story, I visualize it. Because if you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. And then I look at the fabrics. Which season am I doing? House of Victor is kind of immortal. I always say, at Victor, we do not make clothes. We make identities. So what does the identity require? I'll go with that. Yeah, I like it. Now, you already yeah. mentioned earlier that you've got a 4th of December fashion show that we're all going to be excited to go to. Yes, we are all going yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please. Tell us, what, what are we going to expect at the show? Uh, some surprises, things I haven't <laughs> done before. We are a very loud brand. We print. Actually, with Dubai Fashion Week, it was the first time back in March this year to do all plain. I okay. thought also nobody will like it, they love it. But now they're starting to say, bring the print, because I was the first, back in 2019, the first Emirati brand to actually have a print, like an established print, because that gives a validation to the brand. But to get to your question, I'm working on something big, kind of techy. So let's see. All right, well, it's not just about, you know, your product, it's also about being an entrepreneur here in the UAE. What advice would you give people who have a passion like you mm. to turn that into a reality? Don't listen to anyone. <laughs> Even you. Yeah. Uh, you can extract. <laughs> don't, don't go by a book. Like People think if you read the full book and do exactly that, things will go what happened in the book. No. Don't listen to anyone. You can just observe, reflect, and take your decision alone. Yeah. Uh, we are in the Emirates. This is the land where we make things happen. Mm. The things that we are enjoying and taking for granted here, people didn't even live it yet outside. What I would say, really know what you want, write it down, and remember where you live, because it's gonna help you a lot. Yeah, I love that so much. Right, last question from us. I, I could chat to you all day, Martin, but what is next then for House of Victor? What can we see in the next few years? Uh, accessories. Ooh. We already have perfume, we already have builds, like just a few. So shoes and, uh, and bags are coming next year. That's for sure. Oh my goodness, he's just taking everything, <laughs> now, right? The whole fashion world. By I mean, storm. it's a, it's an Emirati brand. That's 
but we have to do it. Absolutely, <laughs> represent, <laughs> right? Thank you so much for joining us. But first, let's take a look at today's spotlight. It's on a princess with a cause, with an aim to create a magical experience for little princesses through charity. Here's Hannah to tell us a little bit more about princess parties. Take a look. I'm Hannah El Shanawi, founder and owner of Princess Parties UAE. I sing, perform, dance and entertain at children's parties and events. I have the best job in the world. When I first moved to the UAE, I realized there wasn't a children's entertainment company that specialized in princesses that sing. So that's where we come in and with our highly trained musical theatre performers, we can truly live the characters, making it a magical experience from beginning to end for children and the adults too. Performing at Expo 2020 in the Al Wasl Dome was a major milestone. As well as during the COVID-19 pandemic, we created a charity campaign called Doorstep Princess Portraits, where we would visit children and families across Dubai at a safe distance, of course, and all the proceeds went to the wonderful Al Jalila Foundation. And from that, we got recognized and our name was engraved on their donor wall. for every single child in the UAE to experience the magic of meeting their favorite princess or fairy tale character. In a place like Dubai that's evolving constantly, a place that never gets boring, so business never gets boring, it keeps you on the top of your game because everyone expects the best quality. Dubai means culture, diversity, respect for one another, and tolerance. And from a business perspective, it means a bank of opportunities. Absolutely fascinating doing big things and we all love a princess party. Right, let's head over to Faris al Ragad for today's Daily Roundup. Now, according to a new study, social media is divided over by croots or croc cowboy boots. How do we feel about croots? No, don't talk to me about crocs or croots. Get Are you not interested in crocs? Because I you can't don't like talk crocs? about crocs. Can someone explain croots to me versus crocs? So you crocs know what crocs are? Exactly. You know yes. cowboy boots? Yes. Put oh. the two together. Croots. For some croots, darling. Like These croots were made for walking. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> what are you saying, Silke? Crocs fan? Interesting. Crocs fan? Well, my children definitely wore Crocs when they were little. It's just a practicality, you know, you just, I think, for that. And let's leave it there. You said one of your adjectives earlier was yes. practicality. Yes. And it doesn't get more practical than a Croc. Uh, crocs are very... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm big on the Croc wagon, all right? Because Crocs, they're very uh, diverse as well, because I've seen purple Crocs with diamonds on them. I've seen them with a heel. I've seen Crocs, yeah, with a heel, uh, Crocs, uh, Crocs and Uggs mixed together. We're talking the about croots. <laughs> I want to talk about <laughs> the Croc <laughs> cowboy <laughs> boots yeah. because I may be on the fence, if I'm honest. I don't think, so I couldn't you imagine you in croots. It. Why not? They're fun, right? Well, it's ventilated for boots, right? <laughs> exactly. I think if you're going, to, are you going to wear them longer than the trend? Um, Silke, so don't put me under pressure to wear <laughs> croots. And I think uh, let's nominate Faris to be our croot wearer for DXB today. I th I'll definitely wear the croots. I'll wear the croots any day you want. But what I really want are the, the Shrek Crocs. I don't know if you've seen this. They're lime green with lime Shrek green. ears coming out the side of them. Oh, no, see, that I oh, can yeah. get on board I think with. <laughs> definitely get on board with. Right, enough of that. All right. Still to come on the show, we have celebrity hairstylist Dina Al Awaid and, of course, our incredible performer. Don't go anywhere.